Kay, Panda Guy Friends, and Pedro from Spain, a uh, son in love of Sichuan. I have a little daughter called Lola, who has attended various schools, private and public, in both China and Spain. This autumn brings exciting news for our family. Our little girl is starting elementary school here in Chengdu. So I'm thrilled and eager to share our experiences of enrolling here in a local school and offer valuable insights on your child's education options if you are considering settling down in China with your family. I to have our daughter schooled in China. If you ask me why we choose to school our daughter in China in the first place, here are some reasons. Uh, first of all, we are a Chinese Spanish family. So it's obviously important to have Lola receive Chinese education, learn about the people, the mindset, and culture here. Secondly, the diverse educational choices. Uh, there are a wide variety of preschool care, compulsory education, private and international schools. We live in the high-tech zone, which is of the highest quality. So we don't have to worry about the choices and education resources. Lastly, the digitalization of education system. Education departments, schools and communities will only provide relevant information guidance online. So as parents, we don't have to go offline unless there are special circumstances. Based on our family's experience, we confidently assure you that raising children here is not only manageable, but also rewarding. Schooling options. In Sichuan and most parts of China, children of foreign or Chinese foreign families have two main schooling options, public schools and international schools. Public schools are directly supported by the Education Bureau and adhere to its curriculum and guidelines. They offer expressive teachers and generally excellent facilities. Since China adopts nine years compulsory education from primary school to middle school, the fees for such a school year are usually less than 500 yuan. In contrast, private or international schools place greater emphasis on foreign languages and provide premium amenities, which comes at a higher cost, ranging for 30,000 to 400 yuan annually. What we chose? In Lola's case, we chose Jironchen Kindergarten, a public kindergarten 15 minutes from our residence. The school year is from September to June. The tuition fee is 600 yuan per month and the meal fee is 420 yuan per month, including breakfast, lunch and a small dinner. The school day starts at 8.30 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. Classes are delivered exclusively in Mandarin. There are about 40 students per class with one head teacher and multiple auxiliary teachers. The school also offers various after school classes and external activities. We are delighted with how school teachers and other personnel have treated Lola and we would make the same choice again. Public school enrollment process. The enrollment process for public schools typically begins in May and is announced on official online platforms, such as the Education Bureau and district websites, primarily through WeChat, where all schools are listed. The steps for enrollment are 1. Register on the online platform, 2. Fill out the required information, and 3. Provide necessary documents. After submitting the application, the same platforms announce the admission list and open the school sign-up period. During this period, parents must submit the required documents, which include identity cards, passports, and residence registration. Through the school year, there are certain payments that need to be made, for instance, the tuition and meal fees, as I mentioned earlier. The schools provide payment information, usually sharing an Alipay QR code, and other payments can be made through the Tianfu mobile bank banking platform. Both methods are straightforward, but they require some practice to become familiar with. How about international school? Chengdu also offers a variety of international schools catering to the diverse educational needs of expatriate families seeking an international curriculum. The application process is not difficult either. Take Lehman International School of Chengdu for an example. Step 1. Fill in online consultation. Visit the school's official website and click Admissions Consulting on the homepage. Then submit an online consultation form. Step 2. 
making an appointment to visit the campus or online visiting interview. After receiving application information, the school staff of admission office will connect parents. The parents could make an appointment to visit the school and facilities. Booking an online visit interview is also acceptable. And step three, submit a formal application for admission. If you decide to apply formally for admission to the school, you need to fill in an online application form on the school's official website and submit required documents. Personal tips for choosing a school in China. Each family has different circumstances when making a school choice for their children. During my 12 years living in China, I found all kinds of situations that fit with each family. From those who only look for an international school, to those who, being parents of children foreigners, have chosen public school. My suggestions for those looking for a school are 1. Collect as much information as possible. 2. Do not feel afraid of the language barriers. And 3. Ask questions in education centers since there will be ways and personnel eager to help you. With all this being said, you must now have a better picture of how to enroll your kids in a school in China, both public and international ones. Hope you will find the right school for your kids. All right, that's all for this episode. If you have any other questions, do let me know in the comments. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel or search for the Panda Guide mini program on WeChat to get more China Life info. This is Pedro, and bye-bye.